Avoid the example avalanche. Answering questions effectively in English. Hello everyone and welcome back to our English language learning series. Today we're going to tackle an important topic in our conversation practice. How to answer questions with examples. We'll particularly focus on a common mistake we often see. Overloading your answer with too many examples. In conversational English, examples play a crucial role. They clarify our points, make our stories more engaging, and help us explain complex ideas in simple ways. However, it's essential to strike a balance. While examples can illuminate our points, too many examples can confuse our listener and dilute our main point. An example avalanche occurs when we use multiple examples to answer a single question, often going off on tangents. This can overwhelm listeners and make it difficult for them to follow our thoughts. Let's consider an example. Question. Can you tell me about your favorite vacation? Avalanche answer. Once I went to Paris and saw the Eiffel Tower. And then another time, I went to Hawaii and it was amazing. Oh, and I also enjoyed visiting the Great Wall in China. And the time in Rome was unforgettable too. This answer is filled with multiple examples, but it doesn't clearly answer the question. The listener may be left wondering, so which one was the favorite? The key to avoiding the example avalanche is to focus your response. Choose one or two examples that best answer the question and elaborate on them. Let's revise our previous answer. Improved answer. My favorite vacation was when I went to Paris. The highlight of the trip was seeing the Eiffel Tower. It was an unforgettable experience. By focusing on one example, the listener can easily understand the point and stay engaged in the conversation. Practice is key to mastering the art of providing examples. Try to be more conscious when answering questions in your next English conversation. Remember, aim for clarity and relevance over quantity. So there you have it. Remember to avoid the example avalanche when you're answering questions. Stick to one or two relevant examples and you'll keep your listeners engaged and your conversations clear. I hope this video has been helpful. And as always, keep practicing. We'll see you in the next lesson.